So the subject is, with this particular mark, you can't buy or sell. Can somebody tell me what a radio frequency chip has to do with that? Taste a second. Here we go. Sir, you're good to go. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So a senior writer on BuzzFeed decides to push the limits of tap to pay. He starts off by trying to pay for everything he can with just his smartphone. Then, he ends up going as far as implanting a microchip in his hand in order to complete his transaction. A radio frequency identification is meant as what? A GPS. The find location. Where's my dog? A, girl, a sister wrote me and said, my dog has an RFID chip. I said, well, maybe he can go buy some land for you. Oh, yeah! You're an idiot. He actually went to Sweden met up with a guy in the biohacker community there, and that's who implanted the chip for him. The chip he used was an RFID chip, which stands for Radio Frequency Identifier, and is the same one used to keep track of pets. It left a nasty bruise on his skin at first, but after it healed up, it wasn't as recognizable. In order to accomplish his payment transaction, he had to use Venmo, a payment and money sharing app for Android and iOS. He transferred his Venmo user ID onto the chip in his hand. What this does is it allows any phone to recognize the chip in his hand as an actual Venmo app. So when he proceeds to pay, all the cashier does is tap the NFC enabled phone onto his microchip implanted hand and the payment gets registered. In the BuzzFeed video, his justification for doing this is to explore the future of mobile pay. When you see Israelites, dumb, unlearned Israelites, say the mark of the beast is a microchip they got it from Christianity. Oh yeah! You're an idiot. Have you ever seen people that has had their arms amputated? How are they gonna get the chip? <laughs> oh yeah! You're an idiot. What do you guys think? Is this the future of mobile payments? Would you guys be willing to put a microchip in your hand for a more convenient way to pay? Now, let's get to some scriptures now. Let's go to- And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand and on their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save that he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred threescore and six. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hands, the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name.